Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Welcome once again, everybody. I am Joseph F. Ulsis, Addiction Master on Twitter and social media. Today I want to talk about a phone game for the iPhone and Android, I believe. It's called The Walking Dead No Man's Land. Now, I was a little surprised when I felt in the mood to play something horror-ish for Halloween that the game is still on my phone. I remember liking it a lot at some points, and I do go back to it when I'm in the mood. So I thought since I did Marvel Future Fight and touted it so much, I'd do another game I appreciate and like to play from once in a while. I think when you look at it from a free-to-play aspect, it's very good. Though maybe I'm not the in-depth analysis person you need since I don't play it every single day on a regimen. Because there are activities you need to do to complete every day. But looking at it from a free-to-play, you feel inspired from a mood you're in. I like the game a lot. It's got pretty good graphics. And when you look at the characters you can play, or sometimes they call like, they come in as cameos from the show. It's it's pretty it's pretty good. It's a lot of fun. You make up your own characters that you find on the way, and they give you some of the people from the show eventually. The graphics, like I said, look pretty good. The sounds, the guns, the the special effects are pretty good. And it's a turn-based game, which I really like, going back to the days of the Commodore and floppy disk games, the Forgotten Realms and Dragonlance games. So it has that feel to it. You, you can pace yourself. You don't feel overwhelmed. Lots of modes in the game. Maybe... A player who plays more and has to get these, um, has to hit criteria every day might consider it a slight grind. And looking back when I did play a lot, maybe that'll be one of the cons. But the way I play it, you go in, the modes are good, they're fun, and you get to play seasons from the show. I think it starts, I'm not sure what season it starts, um, seven or five and They'll do particular chapters and highlights from a show or the theme, and you have to successfully navigate it in the game. I think they do a good, a good blend or a good job at taking the show, the aspects that people love, and putting it into the game. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of The Walking Dead, the comic book, or the show. I recognize there's a greatness there. Some of the actors are superb. Special effects, some of the setups are amazing. But all in all, it's just not a show for me. The pacing, the plot, the writing. But I got through a lot of the seasons eventually. I might have stopped at 7, the end of 7. But when you look at the game, I think it's a fun game. Some people who play more often might find it a grind. I don't. There's plenty of ways to occupy yourself in the game it's a little bit of both genres where you build up your base and you go on missions so you have a theme of getting your how should i say your uh training facilities up your medical uh, establishment the pit and there are aspects of the game with a radio call where you save up certain tokens and you can call for survivors and you get a chance to get someone from the show, like a character. So all in all, I have fun with it, especially on Halloween. I was in the mood to play it. For the time I played it, several hours over the weekend, had a lot of fun. There's a reason why it's still on my phone. Now, if I was going to say anything about the cons of the game. Maybe I would agree that if you do play it every day, there's a grind to it in that aspect. 
I would say the weak point for me is the guild type content. I remember never getting into it too much and coming into problems here and there with every day you go in and you want to support your guild and do certain things. I do it in Marvel Future Fight. It seems to be more fun for me. And in this game, maybe that's its drawback. However, it plays on my old iPhone. It works well. It never crashes. Some parts of the storyline are really in-depth. It brings you into it. It immerses you. So looking at it as a whole, The Walking Dead, No Man's Land is a fun game to play. And you might find some little turn-offs here and there. But I'm trying to think of what would be the best aspect of the game and i think it has to do with the show i think it does a good job of taking the show and immersing you into it they won't give you all the characters up front and you'll have to in a way grind in that sense but the way they staggered the levels the story mode the other modes that let you play seasons over and they'll update it every week and i if i'm correct starting from season six or so weekly they open up a new episode when the show is so there's a synergy there i like well when i did go back and actually get through the show so i think it does a good job of that i'll repeat good graphics i like the turn-based style lots of modes to play building up your camp part of the storyline is going out and finding new survivors and they do something silly like you got to use your finger on your screen and kill the walkers that are coming up against your camp, banging on the fences and stuff. It's simple and easy, but it kind of breaks up the monotony of the game. And sometimes they do events where they double or triple the numbers. So there's lots of walkers going up against your fence and surrounding your camp. And like I said, there are the buildings you have, the um, housing that develops your characters to get their skills up or to improve weapons, to make calls, to plant your crops and the supplies you need. All those buildings can be enhanced. So there's that aspect to it where you're building up your camp. You're trying to get the max level of your characters to keep rising. And that matches with the difficulty in the game. Not a lot of settings, if you want to consider that a con, but I never needed to bother using them. That only happens to me when I have to get into crashes and performance issues. But this game doesn't have any. Maybe it's the way they built it. It seems like it's built on a solid premise. I think if you look on in-depth reviews online, you'll see it's mentioned with other games that it took the blueprint of or the framework is there. So, excellent game all around. I think you'll have fun, especially if you like the show. You'll, I think you'll really get into it. And the cons would be the guild mode or the way you play with the other members who, when you join. I just think it's a little lacking in that aspect. Although, it does let you build up your... I don't know what they call it. I forget what they call it. But you have your own base and you can put your a set number of your survivors to defend it. And the strategy is pretty good. You got three types of characters. Almost a triangle of uh, abilities that you compete against other walkers. So if you're going up against walkers, some will have riot gear on, making it harder for you to get them. You want to use a melee character. Someone who uses weapons, hand to hand combat. Then you have your shooters, your. Sniper rifle, um, machine gun characters for projectiles. You can even get um, a crossbow for Daryl. Well, that's one of my little pet peeves is you can't find it in the stores regularly or ever. But it might come up on a sale or you'll get lucky. Or you might They might give you him with a crossbow. And there's some little skill tweaks. Uh, Daryl's crossbow doesn't cause... 
you get attention from walkers because there's a meter that builds up. You make noise, more walkers draw get drawn to you. So I like the system. It's got some nice perks to it, some added elements to the show. It works together for me. It gives you the feel of being in the show. Even when someone like me, when I get the characters that have nothing to do with the show, that there's nobodies who you find and create. I'll name them friends who play Dungeons and Dragons and role playing with me. So it's like have we're we're in the apocalypse, the zombie apocalypse, and we're meeting people on the show. I think it does a good job of that. So the pros are good. I like everything about it in general. And the con would be the guild mode, a slight grind feel if you're doing things every day. But as a game on my phone, to have fun, the mood strikes you. You're in the horror mood. It's uh, that time of the year for Halloween. I had a ball. It's still on my phone for several years now. And I'd recommend people give it a shot. See if they like it or not. Everybody, I hope to see you again. You know what to do. Take care until next time.